companies like Kinzon are hiring, they say positions in tech are growing, and this initiative will make it so Rhode Islanders are prepared to fill them. So I started to analyze wh uh, what was always present in my life. I always had a computer at home. I always uh, fascinated by tech. That's how Carlos Hernandez decided to pursue a career in computer science. After popping up at Kinzen's hackathons, he eventually convinced them to give him an apprenticeship. He and his fellow apprentice, Mozart Lewis, are now getting hands-on training, training they did not get in school. Lewis taught himself about coding and is excited the state plans to put computer science in classes in all schools. Having it in the schools not only is going to encourage these kids to, uh, to um, do computer science because it is an amazing field, but it's also going to clear up some of the stereotypes about um, the tech industry. Kinzen says that there is talent here in Rhode Island, but most people have to look elsewhere for jobs. To find really great people, we often have to dip into some of our neighbors' talent pools. Isaac Lavoy is Kinzon's talent acquisition coordinator. He says the company is happy to train potential employees, but is glad the state is committed to educating young people about the tech industry. It's going to make my job really easy in a few years. Um, at the moment, there's a struggle, um, but to have support on a statewide scale is, I think, takes the, the issue that we have placing people really seriously. And again, that company is hiring, and they say the goal of that apprenticeship is to make sure those apprentices can get full-time jobs with Kinzon. Reporting live in the studio, Sierra Putman, NBC 10 News.